Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're still working, not on the engine, but now we're working on the transmission. All right, so now that we basically transmit the motors peeking over there now that we have the engine uh, pretty much ready to go now we have to work on the transmission as you guys know we installed this adapter plate for it to mount to the engine over there but we also have to do some other minor modifications i don't know if you would call it minor but some modifications nonetheless one of which it is for uh, the transmission mount uh, i have heard that I do need to cut something off of the transmission mode, but I'm not really sure how or what piece exactly. I mean, because I could literally just bolt it off. Maybe this part. I'm not really sure. I have to find that out. I have that to go. I have the shifter to work on, which I'm not really sure if I'm going to do it right now or once it's in. And we have to install the bleeder holes and the master cylinder holes for the 256 uh, slave cylinder here. So let's see how far we can take it today. We managed to take off the transmission bolt, I mean the transmission bolt, the transmission mount, and it's, it's just two bolts. Now I do have to take a pause here because I don't know exactly here. There's really no space here to cut much material off of this since the drive shaft goes in here. So I'm gonna have to pause here and just wait until we actually install the transmission in there to see how much I have to cut or if I have to cut anything for the transmission mount. Since we're having to take a pause for the transmission mount, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much get rid of this stock shifter rod and bracket here because we're gonna use aftermarket one, which will pretty much bring the shifter from here to around this general area here. So for that, I'm pretty much gonna start uh, taking this off, this bracket. This is the stock shift mount here, bracket. And we have to take off this stock joint here, which, how we do that? We have to, there's a pin, there's a roll pin in here. They have to punch out. We have to punch it out and take this out. All right, so we'll go, go ahead and punch this out. It's the roll pin that I had inside. It was a little bit of battle, not gonna lie, but we, took, we managed to take it out. Now, take this joint out, like so. This is not gonna be something we're gonna need. And take this boot out, there we go. And now that we have this shaft exposed, we're gonna go ahead and take out, we are using the GK Tech shifter relocation kit. So we're gonna grab this small bracket here. Basically, we're gonna slide it in and line it up to where the roll pin was and with the same punch that we used we should not, not this one we're gonna slide in the punch where the roll pin goes that way you can be held in place now we're just gonna simply take a marker and pretty much just draw a little circle around it we're gonna mark off a circle now we take off the punch and the little bracket and now this piece right here, we're going to have to cut off. All right, let's start cutting. All right, guys, there you go. Well, that's the piece you have to cut off. Now you just have to round out the edges here so you don't just won't cut yourself. I fell down the, the edge here so it's no longer sharp. We rounded it out. We're going to go ahead and install the boot again. There you go. Make sure the drain plug, the drain hole here is pointing downward. You're going to grab again our little bracket here. You're going to lighten it up once more. And we're going to install the cotter pin that we took out of it. We managed to put this little bracket on already. Cotter pin's on. And just look at the comparison compared to the stock one. This is the stock shifter location. This is going to be the new shifter location. So it's a pretty, pretty big difference here. For now, that's where we're gonna stop on this side of the transmission because we do have to test fit it first and we just don't have the space to leave a freaking shifter here installed already. Now that we're done on the back side of the transmission, we're gonna go ahead and work on the front side. We're gonna go ahead and install these two lines. This one goes on the bottom. This, is, this goes to the clutch master cylinder. And this top one goes connected to the top over here. And this is a clutch bleeder line, just a remote one. Just so I don't have to struggle Later on to bleed the clutch from here, let's just leave this line out and we could bleed it this way. So it's going to make life much easier. So for that, I do need to remove the 
the slit cylinder here. Now that we have our 256 slate cylinder here out, this is for the clutch master cylinder, the line that's over there. I don't need to take this fitting out or the roll pin. You just literally just screw it on, which is damn good thing because I had taken out the roll pin and whatever. So we actually have the line here as well. We're just going to replace this piece here with this line here. This is the nipple to bleed it from. And this is the part that bolts onto that, this piece here. We're installing the remote bleeder here. It did come with a fitting. This is the original piece that it came with. We're going to place it with this line. But this line had this little fitting here. It came with the brass washer or copper washer as well. But just make sure that the copper washer is on the slave cylinder side because it did come in between the, the fitting and the line. Just a little note there. So I'm just installing the little fitting here. <clears throat> I did put Teflon just for a good measure. Now the other end of the fitting here. Again I put Teflon and tighten it up. The remote bleeder is now installed as you can see brass or copper washer fitting and the line now it's on to install the clutch master cylinder line no modification needed just pretty much screw on now that we have both our lines installed on the, um, the clutch slate cylinder we're gonna go ahead and pretty much just pull, push it through so that was in and we're here and we're ready to bolt this baby down now that we passed the lines through, it's time to finally bolt this slave cylinder on for the last time. Now that we finished installing the slave cylinder, now we're just gonna have to keep a close eye on these lines, make sure they don't they don't rip or tear or get damaged. We're just gonna tighten them up on a, the zip tie here. That way they're just they're not a uh, freaking all over the place. Guys, okay, so it looks like we well first of all we ran out of time. Second. I think we have the transmission ready to go. Since, you know, trans motor is done already, I think it's that time we put both together and start test fitting it inside the car. You know, hopefully that'll be the, yeah, I think it is gonna be the next step, most likely. So stay tuned with the future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for future content. Follow us on IG, Los Meros Vera. That being said, see you guys next time. Let's get it. Peace.